Climate change is definitely the greatest threat that our forests have ever faced. Climate is interacting with existing stressors and exacerbating them in a lot of ways. Sometimes you see that out west, for example. Big fires or big pest outbreaks and it's very dramatic, uh, even lethal. In California, we've seen 130 million trees that have died just since 2010. In other places, it's, it's a slower change in which you, you just don't get the reproduction in the forest that you used to. And the competitive uh, relationships between different species in the forest are changing. And so the forests that we know uh, are not going to be the forests that are there uh, even decades from now. The key to pre-storing our forests for a changing climate is science. Science is our crystal ball for looking into the future and understanding the conditions that our forests are going to need to survive in decades into the future. So that's one of the reasons why American Forest is so excited about working with the Northern Institute of Applied Climate Science. They're sort of like our crystal ball uh, for understanding these scientific changes and helping us and our partners to think about how to use that science to adjust the way that we care for forests into the future. NIAC staff use a process that involves investing a lot of time, building relationships with individuals, with groups, with all kinds of stakeholders, um, and asking those stakeholders what they need. One of the ways that we help organizations pursue climate adaptation planning is through a process that we created uh, with lots of partners called the Adaptation Workbook. And uh, a critical part of any adaptation is to understand what it is that they value, what it is that they want, what it is they need to do, and, and then ultimately use that to ground the entire conversation, to ground all of the planning, so that they're always coming back to what is it that they are most valuing in this forest. I'm Rachel McDonald. I'm the forester for Kiwanabe Indian Community. I help to manage Lons Indian Reservation, which is about 66,000 acres altogether, um, but the tribe owns and actively manages about 18,000. Climate change poses a threat um, for reducing the winter weather window. Um, we've seen a reduction of the time that we have frozen soils, um, which really creates a problem when you want to get heavy equipment um, into the woods to harvest timber. The Kiwanak Bay Indian community is really interested in a, a wide variety of different values associated with their land. So we go through the adaptation workbook, but which breaks down this overwhelming issue of climate change and helps deal with it in smaller pieces of information, smaller chunks, so that way we can think about how is the particular place vulnerable to climate change, how might the tree species or ecosystems change, how does that affect the management that they're doing, and then what ultimately can they do to help enable their ecosystems to be better adapted to future conditions. Climate change, it's such a huge issue that previously I didn't know where to start. Going to their workshop really made me have to stop and um, learn how to integrate climate change into my decision making. We've had to well, be creative working with NIAX to like track our equipment operable days in the winter and being um, careful and cognizant about protecting more sensitive areas in the summer so that we could have um, timber harvests in non-winter periods. Our work at NIAX is really intended to help bring the best science that's out there into the hands of managers rather than just having it be stuck in journals and in places where people can access it. We want to be able to bring it out to light and get it into the hands so that people can make better informed decisions. NIAX is also a great partner in working with policymakers, something that's very important to American forests. To translate complicated scientific principles into easily understandable guidance and direction for what to do uh, is just as valuable for policymakers as it is for forestry practitioners in the field. American Forest sees itself as a movement builder and a movement leader. We can't do what needs to happen for our forests alone. We need to be working across the sector, and we do that through collaboration and through coalitions. Like the Forest Climate Working Group and our work with the United States Climate Alliance, 
Through these coalitions and partnerships, we're using tools developed by NIACs and other partners uh, to help create a, a new movement for climate-informed forestry across America. Certainly American Forest is one of those organizations that are at the forefront of thinking, how do we pursue forest restoration in a climate-informed way? How do we design pro-forest policies uh, that themselves are climate-informed and that can help ensure that, that our forests continue to sequester carbon and help slow down uh, the, the accumulation of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. And we are ecstatic to work with them. The people that we serve, the, that I get to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, they are absolutely dedicated to being good stewards of the ecosystems that they manage. And when we help them to be more effective in their jobs, how can you not love that?